right, y'all, welcome to Cloudy Sky Entertainment's presentation of the greatest vampire movie of all time. That's right, we're about to watch Eddie Murphy's classic take on Dracula, Vampire in Brooklyn. No, no, we're not. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. The greatest vampire movie of all time. Oh, you said of all time. Of all time. All right, all right. Try it again. We're going to watch Leslie Nielsen's Dracula Dead and Loving It. No, 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 no. Dude, dude. that is the greatest vampire. Greatest vampire movie of all time. Okay, all time, time. Of all, all time, time of cinema. Greatest vampire movie of all cinema. That's right. <sighs> Ladies, you're gonna love this. We're gonna watch Twilight. No, shut the fuck up. No, it's literally on the screen. What's on? Literally on the screen. What is? Look, look, look. Um, this is what we're watching. This is what we're watching. Oh ho ho ho! We're gonna watch Nosferatu. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. The greatest vampire movie. Exactly. Of all but not only are we gonna watch it. We're gonna riff the hell out of it because riffing a movie is the greatest thing you can do to a classic movie. It's uh, it honors it. It also makes it better. That's right. It, it this yeah. movie don't have any talking. We're no. gonna do all the talking. We're gonna do all the talking. It's gonna it's gonna be amazing. All right, so y'all sit back and enjoy. I'm getting ready. Enjoy. <laughs> no, that's nasty. That's oh, that's gross. Oh god. Yo, wait, wait, don't start the movie. Wait for me, you fucks. There's no waiting for you. Ah. Dude, it took you like a hundred years to get here, man. Just Dude, like for real, I'm so fucking mad, man. I'm ashamed. This movie's a hundred years old. This movie is, yeah, this movie actually is a hundred years old. That's older than that old bitch in the Titanic. Dude, oh, dude think, think about all the shit that's happened since this movie came out. You have World War II, the Great Depression, Vampire in Brooklyn. Vampire in Brooklyn. That's, dude, you know that movie's shit. It's dog shit. No. It's dog shit. It's good shit. Dog shit is good shit. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Ring Pops. Right? Big League Chew. Big League Chew. There's so much shit in 100 years. Pencils. Yes. You know not one of these people are alive. Are alive. They're dead. They're, They're all dead. My, my grandparents are dead too. If you don't hear me crying about it. Fucking Gustav Boats. Get over it, you ghost. That's a Dementor? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, my, uh, I can't read too good. So this movie has no talking. So we're going to do all the talking, so... Yeah, for everybody born after 1960, this movie is what's called a silent film. That means there's no talking. It's all the dialogue is written. And, like just, like, and just like that song you also don't know by Michael Jackson, Black and White, this movie is also black and white. And it, it, hey, wait a minute. Have you realized something? This whole time, we've also been in black and white. I'm white? Uh, yes, we're black and white. I didn't realize that until now. We are in black and white. That's fucking weird. It is weird. I like it. It. I like it too. It's I refreshing. Think... It's a simpler. I feel simpler. Yeah, I do feel simpler. I'm Everybody pretty simple already, be but... in black and white. Everyone should be in black and white. Alright, so this movie's about vampires and shit. It's a knockoff of Dracula, because they couldn't get the rights in 1912 to Dracula. <laughs> It takes place in a church steeple. Look at that shaky camera. Baby. Oh, it's so good. True story, I learned how to tie a tie from watching this movie when I was three years old. It didn't come out that good, but... Hold up. We're not going to talk about how you are watching this at three? Yeah, well, also I couldn't talk at three. I was... Look at that pussy! Dude! Oh. <laughs> that cat's pretty cool, too. But no, I couldn't talk at three. So this, uh, so this works. I couldn't read either, so... But I could pick weeds better than the madman. Just the fact that your parents were having you watch this at three makes your parents probably the coolest parents on there. I'm a horror fiend, dude. It's, it's pretty amazing. I'm a horror fiend. That guy's a fiend, too. That's a fucking creepy motherfucker right there. Even though this is a black and white, I can tell he's got way too much makeup on. Wait, Wait a minute, was there makeup back then? Uh, I think so. I, or maybe it's just like uh, pig livers or like pig. Something pig, they put pig shit on people's faces. I don't know. Makeup, maybe. Now, those are, um, oh, don't touch me, is what he's saying. Ugh, I'm gonna caress these flowers in the most weirdest way with my man hands. Damn, she does have man hands. Well, that is a man. I think. Like Shakespeare, right? All the actors were men. That's true. This might be just an all men production in Germany. Look at them whitewashing shit. Oh, uh, look at that. He's like, Heil! Oh, <laughs> it's too soon. Too soon. Wait, young man. You cannot 
or can't escape destiny by running away. He got that from a fortune cookie. We're fortune. That's this is pre fortune cookies. Einstein. Well, he probably was. He probably was. Well, he they're both German. This is true. I'm going to sit at this weird desk all weird. Oh, my God. It's a fucking Necronomicon. Ex mortis. Do you want deadites? That's how you get deadites. <laughs> I farted. Is he taking a shit? He is. That's how you really get into character. Also, is that Ernest T. Bass from the fucking Andy Griffith show? Right. It's his first role. Looks just like him. God, he could be his brother. Dad. You know, to the younger generation before cell phones, when we would take shits, we would have to reach it. Yeah, newspapers? What are those? Don't even know. Hey, boss. He didn't say all that, I know. Man, people had to write a letter if they wanted to buy a house. Times have changed. Kiss. <laughs> and free with his money? What? Damn. So the the anti Donald Trump. <laughs> Hello. For all of you, um, you know, ex Jenners and. Millennials and all that, whatnot, TikTokers and everything. Yeah, people had to read movies. Shit, people read books. I don't even read books anymore. I listen to Audible, but. Oh my god. Please kiss. They're about to. They have to call cut. Oh, there's a map. Oh god. They didn't have a need for it if they're summoning up demons. Like, give me your best. I have a secret eyes. Oh. <laughs> I love my unibrow. He does. I think that they didn't even put makeup on people. They just found people in Yugoslavia or wherever. And they're like, hey, I'm just going to put you in a movie. You don't got to talk, but just pretend like you are. They have to go around looking for the most, like, shittiest looking person. And in Yugoslavia, they took, like, two seconds and found somebody. Well, it's not even a country anymore, so... <laughs> Is it not? One of them. I apologize to all our Yugoslavian friends out there. I do love you. It's my favorite country in the world. I don't know why they just didn't shoot in Transylvania. That would have been better. Maybe they did. ha <laughs> End of scene. There she is again. She's waiting by the window. When my when my husband returned from the war. Huh. So yeah, this is just like pretty much starting out a typical vampire movie, except for boring. So talks him into letting Dracula buy a house next day. Yep. And he comes and like uh, like tells his, his lady. And she's already upset about it because I guess she's a psychic or some shit. That's what I'm confused about. How would she know? We need a scene of you packing. This is going to be very exciting. It's going to be near the front. It's called the hook. We're going to get every... Oh my god! A bear trap! We're already five minutes in this movie and it's fucking bottles. So, dude. F you, 1912. Yeah, that's, I was thinking Titanic. I was just thinking that's four people on Titanic. Oh, kiss me, you fool. What the fuck kind of kiss was that? I hated it. I'm sorry. Let me try again. If his name was Hooker, that'd be better. Hooker left. Hooker left. Hooker right. I don't care which way you hooker. So, I think the unsung hero of this film is the, the organist. That motherfucker's gotta have, like... Yeah, he's killing it. His wife must love his finger action because, damn, he's not tiring at all. It's just organ after organ after organ! Nothing will happen to me. Bullshit! Oh, 
Like, that's where the trope from horror movies came. Nothing's gonna happen to me! He's like, fuck, what do you want? Oh, one more kiss. Sure. Oh, he's leaving forever! Please jump on that horse at full speed. Come on! Oh, you son of a bitch. There are no cars. They don't even know what a car is. Well, I mean, Yugoslavia, they didn't have cars until like 1975, but... Is that a solid fact or a made-up fact? Well, it's sort of like a, uh, a gelatinous fact. Somewhere in between. From relay to relay through dust raised by stages, Harker hurried on! That's the most, like, wordy, sort of, like, writery phrase in this whole thing. Let's definitely change his name to Hooker. Hooker. His name is Hooker yes, now. Hooker. The effects of Iwo Jima. This was like pretty that shit. Like, yeah. By a lot. By a lot. When they say this movie was the bomb, they didn't know. They didn't, they didn't know. Hold on. I can edit that out. Oh, yeah, that's that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <clears throat> to make a film like this, I can't even, I can't even imagine. So no one's going to talk in it. Right, so they have to make it exciting somehow. They just get people off the streets. But there's gotta be, there's editors, there's fucking, like, horse wranglers. There's old lady with, I hope beer, but it's probably just water. <laughs> My sister's piss tastes great. This is like pre-Hollywood, there can be real liquor in that. They didn't have rules back then. No, they didn't have rules. I mean, they didn't have rules in early Hollywood either, but... So that's Jonathan Hooker. If you guys are just joining us, that is Colonel Sanders. And... God, he's boring. I hope Eddie Murphy shows up soon. I mean, I become all-powerful after dark, too, you know? <laughs> So fuck you, Spears. You ain't got nothing on me, man. Was that a fucking hyena? Um, that's random as fuck. What the fuck? I think that animal is extinct. I've never seen... What is that? I don't know. You know, I'm guessing the camera guy was just outside and this weird-ass fucking animal just shows up. He captured a... a, a roll with this shit honest shit. to God, El Chupacabra. Take my shit. Make my bed. Is that fucking bed on, like, stilts? It is. If I were to fuck on that, it would just break. It would break right down? You fall You fall a good five feet. Not yet. Shit. You step on a stool to get in bed? Well, that's because, you know, they're so poor, there's rats everywhere. So you have to really, you don't want to get the plague. That's, that's true. That's true. No. Fucking sure, but the, ah, damn, there's a what? chupacabra again. What the fuck is that? To the thousands of geologists, my apologies, zoologists that are uh, that are watching, and maybe the geologists, but the zoologists that are watching our film right now, what is that? What kind of animal is that? I hate the outside. Also, um, this was a simpler time where men hid their belly buttons by having their pants go way on up. I guess I'll just read this Bible. There's no Netflix and chill. Huh, you just happen to have the book of vampires. Right? You wanna watch a silent film and chill? Oh yeah, baby, you wanna watch that silent film and chill? Black and white and it's alright, you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, that's what reading is. <laughs> I better jump down off my bed. Okay. It's time for the nocturnal emission scene. Okay, are you ready? 
Who the fuck sleeps with just one pillow? For real. Ugh. Yes. I'm so moist right now. What the fuck is he wearing? The same the same outfit Grandpa Joe wore in the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Don't talk about that fucking lazy bastard. Such a lazy fuck. I'm gonna run outside with horses! Yay! But I'm not gonna catch any, because... Haha! <laughs> Whoa, was that him, or was he seeing another person running with horses? Is he dreaming? Who daydreams of fucking horses? Garth Brooks. That's right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Right. yeah, Garth Brooks. I'm pretty sure that means women. Ha ha ha! Fuck this book! Somebody's house nowadays, you realize something just have their fucking subtitles on the TV now? They do. Why the fuck are we making subtitles? You rich as fuck. That's brilliant. <laughs> I mean, this, that's fucking so brilliant. Anything, any, anything we say during this riff is uh, uh, copyrighted by us. Like, audio copyright, so you can't be making no movies. Whatever you learn here, we copyright that right now. I'm pretty sure, like, Darius Rucker's wagon wheel would be perfect right here, instead of this fucking intense organ music all the time. We get it, Grandma. You can play at church. Shit. Fuck. I've seen this scene in, in Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh-oh. God. Incessant organ music is my punk band name now. I don't want to start a punk band. I'm going to call it Inflatable Snowman. Ooh, I like that. Inflatable Snowman. You could pretty much put any words together and create a punk band name. Beaver air hockey? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean you won't take me? But there's a fortune involved, or whatever quest I'm on. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, the land of phantoms. Fuck, why do we not dress like this anymore? Man, that's just crazy. You don't dress like that? No. Really? It's the Roaring Twenties, man. The Roaring Nineteen Twenties. Which is odd, because if you look at, like, the Roaring Twenties, it's the opposite of this boring fucking black and white bullshit in Yugoslavia. Okay, right, this is boring, right? <laughs> so far, yes. Yes. Um, but may we've not got to the vampires yet, so maybe soon. Castle uh, Grey Wiener. It does look like a penis. It does. I think it's on purpose because it needed some sort of like. That also looks like a penis. It does look like a penis. That dude's face looks like a penis. Thank God the organ music is over. Fuck! Okay, so so far, if you've seen other vampire movies like Bram Stoker's, you know, Dracula, this sort of lines up. What the fuck is that? This is scariest Robin Hood I've ever seen. Hey, I'm Peter Pan. Get in my wagon. You're just gonna get in that dude's wagon? That's how a rape starts, dog. Every single time. <gasps> I feel nauseous. My tummy hurts. We'll just speed the scene up because uh, we need it to last three seconds long. Ooh, <laughs> that's an actual negative. Wait. All right, so this movie did scare a lot of people uh, because they assume it's just like a real vampire they put in this. That dude, spoiler, oh my God, if you're really fucking paying attention, that's Dracula. Wait, right what? There. Yeah, sorry. Fuck. Let's just end it now. Let's put our reruns of The Office.
Also, that phrase is out of, out of touch. Reruns. <laughs> Let me just change real quick. Let me put in my creeping gown. That is actually a, a well shot scene, though. That, that setup is pretty good, I, 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 I must admit. He's creepy as hell. Yeah, none of this feels put on except for the first part where they're pretending to kiss and not hate each other. I'm just gonna wait for you. Wait, how did you already get over here? I'm walking through this vagina. That's how people are born. Or sometimes they just slip out. But... Hey, I take my hat off too. All right, that's how you do it. Are you ready for the break? <laughs> you have to. Yeah, you have to. If you ask, you're not ready. Yes. <laughs> Walk this way. Into the tunnel of love. If this dude dies, I'm just not even gonna go back. Why is he like going to We still on caution right to the wind. I'm gonna cut these peas. Look at that fucking crazy fork. If Michael Bay remade this, that bread would just explode. Exploding bread, I meant. Yeah, that's that's Michael Bay. Peekaboo! So if you have someone over to your house and you're trying to, in the first 10 minutes, prove that you're not a fucking vampire, don't creepily look over the newspaper. I mean, there's other ways to do this, guys. Uh-oh. Oh, they should have just sliced the whole thumb right off. Oh, shit. It's okay. Let me He's suck- suck it on his finger. Let me suck that for you, baby. Blood, your precious blood. My precious. Hey, we just met. Buy me dinner first. I made you dinner. Well, you know. Well, fuck. Well, fuck. <gasps> I get it now. You're a vampire. I didn't know before. You're a fucking creep. I had no idea. Wait. Is this whole thing a setup? Wait, is this seriously gonna happen? I mean, I, I, I said in college maybe, but I didn't really think it would happen. Oh, we've read this already. Get over it. Sorry about that. Uh, just go on to bed now. How long do you think they decided to leave those title, those written letters up? Because, like, some people read really fast. I don't know. That's a good question because I guess maybe that's one person's job is to read it. No, no, slow, slow down. I can't read it that fast. Sir. Hooker felt himself beat from the oppression of the night. Oh shit, that's hookers for you. He's making yeah, that's terrible. Well, he's fucking wasted off of uh, that bread. Back in the day, you were roofing. You're the first person to roofie. Well, they, the first roofie. They, they didn't have flour. They only had. Uh, Rohypnol. <laughs> oh! My camel toe. They did have he had a fucking huge camel toe. He still does. Oh! There it is. Hands are so jacked up. And the cameraman's really just focusing on the, the midsection of this gentleman yeah. that just passed out in a chair. You do that with you every morning, you wake up, make sure your neck's good? Yeah, make sure no vampires fuck with you when I sleep. Yeah. I mean, that's, oh, thank God, my neck is the same as it was. Well, I'm gonna play with my boner a bit. Bunt cake for breakfast. Dig it. Fucking hedons. And walk. All right, I can walk. And it's 1922. You know that that Coca-Cola's got cocaine in it. So. Oh hell yeah. 
So many just shots of people walking. When you walk all the way up to the camera. I, I, I think I could walk better. Can I do that again? Jesus, something happened. You stole that bread. Oh, that's a letter. Dear my beloved, I have been raped. By Don't what? Worry, my neck is fine. My neck is fine. I know how you love my neck. It's intact. This is a strange country, though. I mean, I did eat breakfast and swat some flies. Oh, it's okay. I killed it. Motherfucker, you don't know what a mosquito or a spider is? Well, clearly because of the shitty camera, we couldn't see the two bite holes. So his neck isn't fine. Oh, well, that could have been... Oh, it's fine. I still have a neck. You running in your nightgown with horses is a nightmare? It is for me watching. That's true. That's... Hey, hey, you! On the horse! Hey! Oh, me? Come on up here! I'd like to talk to you about something boring, I'm sure. Uh, you can say more about your car. <laughs> exactly. Is there extended warranty on that horse? It's about to expire. Hey, random stranger, can you take this letter to my wife that you now automatically have this? And you don't have any shoes, so you're clearly trustworthy. Barefoot on a fucking horse in the middle of nowhere. Twilight. This oh. I told you we're watching Twilight. Ah! Best no. vampire movie ever. Punch him right in the dick. If that was made today, there'd be a lot of like, you know, dick punching and you know. Count whatever Dracula Orlock we played by, like, I don't know. We just need your eyeballs to be as wide as possible. All the oh, time. that's. Is that really her? <laughs> I'm not a vampire, I promise. Who fucking says that? You know, the next time I see you and your girlfriend, I'm gonna look at her and be like, you're a little <laughs> Thank you, I use it all the time. So your hot your hot piece of throat works there or lives there and you have a nice mansion. Let's move in together. If this was like a buddy comedy, this would be so much better. Me and Nosferatu doing shit. He's not gonna suck on my neck at night. Wait. I read about this just last night. That's it, that's the only way to tell. Oh. Better hide this book. Said Anne Frank when the Nazis came. Ooh, too soon, too soon. in there. That is his bedroom after all. Well, why are you still in the house? Leave. <laughs> yeah, location supervisor's like, we got a, a great waterfall. We just need one second of it. Build the 
tension. There he is. Okay, see, there we go. Now we're getting into some atmosphere. I'm scared shitless. That's going to be nightmares. Holy fuck. It's also semi-erotic as well. Erotic. I don't know if I said erotic. That's where you fuck eyeballs. Well, I mean, he probably has some great eyeballs. Well, his eyebrows clearly show. Uh-oh! Well, she has a psychic connection to um, Nosferatu, as you know. He's not even anywhere around. She just knows. Tiptoe! There we go. Tiny Tim song would be perfect on this, too. Oh, yeah. What the fuck word was that? No Sombolistic? That opium's really kicking in, my dude. Oh, we should have watched this. On opium? Yeah, I know. God, you know, that's what that's what the kids are drinking and smoking these days is, is opium. Chasing that green dragon. Whoa! Uh -oh. <laughs> Doctor. Whoa, wait, wait. Do they live with a doctor? Oh, he was asking for it. That guy's not a doctor. Okay, here we go. This is what we need. Scary shadow puppet time. This movie is really well known for scary shadow puppets. Dr. Abraham Lincoln. But he also looks like a Planet of the Ape character, which is weird. He's going down on him. And he's down. Ah, uh, Toucan Sam! Those eyebrows and that nose must be awesome. This should be a TikTok trend. It's called Nosferatu. It's a hundred year anniversary, guys. Kids, millennials, do it. Dress up like Nosferatu and just creep out your neighbors. Do a dance or some shit, because this shit's boring without it. What did he do? <laughs> he just came in, put his shadow on that dude, and left. It's me after watching this movie. Hey. You wanna get high? Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. The symptoms. A sudden fever. Unknown disease. They couldn't even fit all the words on this. Could it be? <laughs> Is it COVID-1922? Wouldn't have the Spanish flu back then? It was called the Espanol flu. I just had the strangest dream, and you were there, and you were there, and you were there. Thank God I'm still wearing my ascot. Oh, I thought I lost it. Well, he wakes up the same way all the time. He's like, oh, glad I wasn't fucked with. Right? I'm too tired to change clothes. I'm gonna sleep in these clothes. The production can't afford a costume change, so I'm just going to leave you to stay in the same clothes. No, you got to push. There we go. Hmm. It smells like updog in here. Yeah, let's open that. Yeah, that's my first instinct as well. Oh, shit. It doesn't have to open, it's cracked. Is that broken? Yeah, that's what it is. <gasps> I have to save him. He's my sugar dad. And hold and hold, yeah. This motherfucker feeds me bun cake. 
<laughs> I think my sugar daddy's dead. I think he's dead. I didn't kill him, I swear. I gotta suck on my own neck. Like I'm 13 again. And I'm up. I don't know how to walk. <laughs> I'm gonna climb out this window. It's the first game of Tetris ever created, right there. Whoa, that was him. He fucking created his own coffin and just climbed into it? Special effects that they are just fantastic. God dang, Steven Spielberg, eat your heart out, bro. I'm so angry, my sugar daddy left me. Ah, sheet, sheet, motherfucker. I'm gonna, okay, put, my, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put my coat on first. Uh, what the fuck? Is there not doors? <laughs> There's so many doors. Oh, and I broke my legs. Oh my god, my legs! Oh my god, my legs. Oh. Yeah, no. He could have just walked out the door. That actor had one action scene in his contract. He's like, I gotta do it. I won't do this movie without one bed sheet scene. No, y'all, instead of me going out the door like a normal person, how about I fool myself out the window? Hell yeah. That's a cargo ship? Yeah, in Tom Sawyer time. It's like Jake Paul, man. He's got to do those wild, crazy stunts. You got to fucking jump out the window instead of walking out the door. I'm Jake Paul. Is that the same dude? Wait, that's the dude now? I'm so confused with these time jumps. Coffins, coffins filled with earth. Luckily, those people walk by and mended his broken legs and put him in a bed. For three cents a day, you can load coffins into a ship. All right, five cents. <laughs> Good. I know what I'm worth. All right, boys. Heave! Empty, like my soul, after watching this movie. Oh, it's rats. Ah, don't worry about it. We'll just get the plague. Eat one. Ah, I bit him! Holy shit, that was good. <laughs> oh, this is not a very PC, PC movie. No. They probably were getting actual rats. Oh, they might not have been. It's the director's cousin. We know someone that could uh, pretend to hit rats with a shovel? Oh, Gunther there, he loves doing that kind of shit. He'll fucking do it for, for two cents. Feed me, Seymour! Kids, that's a reference to Little Shop of Horrors, if you, if you didn't know. And if you don't know, watch the fucking movie. Watch, get educated. And here we sign the declaration. Oh, there it is. That's how vampires work. Now I know. It's sitting right by a tasty bud, though. That's a very healthy-looking marijuana plant right beside it. 
<laughs> Wait, which one's Renfield? I'll be honest with you. I'm so fucking lost with this movie. So it's not Dr. Abraham Lincoln. It's not Captain Mustache. Everyone looks the same. Flies like everybody. It could be. Is that a fucking alien wearing a hat in that picture? Look at that. That's my grandma! I'm sorry, grandma. It's true. Okay, so yeah, all right, okay. That's Renfield. I need a toothbrush. I just need a fucking toothbrush. You get that much blood out of a fly, bro? I doubt it. Catch one with some chopsticks and then I'll be impressed. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. Go back to bed, Grandpa. In here? Look, boys. It's a nudie mag. To polyp with claws. I think that's where Ridley Scott got the idea for Alien. <laughs> oh, thank you for popping my back set. Oh, I feel so good. They auditioned 25 spiders for that role and they found this one. I've always wanted to be in the Guinness uh, World Book of World Records, whatever you say it. Guinness Book of World Records. That would be a fantastic thing to be in. It can happen. Dreams can come true. Yeah, I want to be the person to eat the fastest amount of bananas. Ooh. The fastest amount of bananas. I can probably, I can probably eat like 10 bananas. Nice, ten an hour. That's pretty good. That seems real bad. Is it good? I don't know. I hate bananas. I hate potassium too, so maybe that's why. If I was in the Guinness Book, I would want to go in for something exciting, you know, like you know, tying people's shoes. I could tie fifty-five pairs of shoes in thirty minutes. You know, something people want to watch. So, like, you know, they get the crowd gathers around, like David Blaine style. I think I'm going to do magic or do something. I'm going to be dressed like Chris Angel, though. Something exciting and spicy. Just and here goes the stopwatch. Just talking about shoes. And that's Edgar Allan Poe, right there. And I'm done. And we're riding a carousel, and we're on a carousel. Yes, I'm very intoxicated. I'm drunk on how much of a star I'm going to be after being in this movie. I'm going to be signing autographs at the butcher's cart on... Carnival Row. Oh, now that's a ship. That's probably the most impressive thing in this film so far.
You know what the most impressive ship is, right? Oh, I was, I was gonna say a relationship. Oh. Well, yeah, I have no soul, so. And the Titanic is impressive. And I'm gonna take that. Oh, hey! Well, you know, like, it's very important for the, the guard to, to sweep the motherfucker's room right now. I believe you mean the African American Sea. Oh, it's about Brexit. I see. I see. We get it. It's a newspaper. Quit blowing your load all over the screen with your one prop. There we go. Oh, my knees. Oh my God. Yes. I saw something cool. I want to shoot it. They lost 12 horses in that rapid river and they finally got one going across. So her name is Nina Parker? This movie's so old, that's actually the Santa Maria. <laughs> that's a Christopher Columbus joke, kids. Tom Hardy's boner. What? Hey, were you sleeping? Were you? I know this movie's boring as fuck. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. I went. It's so exciting. I was. I just uh, uh, got COVID. I can't breathe real well. I, mean, I might have exaggerated when I said this is the greatest vampire movie of all time. Are you fucking hating on Vampire in Brooklyn, bro? Watch that next. I think what I meant to say was we're going to watch the worst vampire movie. The oldest vampire movie of the all old, time. Yeah. yeah. That dissolved, though. And when I said uh, Tom Hardy's boner, I was thinking of a mistake he made. Because back in the day, they used to call mistakes boners. Not about his engorged dick. I need to clarify it. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a weirdo. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm so lost. Well, I don't think there's any real script here. They were just like, let's film you walking around. Let's put shadows on you. Your neck is okay. This person is dead. Here's a boat. Need a script for this. Just have people walk around. And they have some dude come in and write a bunch of bullshit. That is true. I wouldn't go down there. Don't do it. Don't just shave your unibrow with that axe, bro. I mean, they probably did. I mean, there's no That's... Gillette, the best the men could get back in the day. Really put your weight into it. More rats. Well, the director's, uh, you know, his uncle had a rat guy. And he's like, oh man, I just need some rats. Oh, <laughs> 
So scared, drop the axe. The dude just fucking. <gasps> There's a man down there. It's not just rats. It's okay, I'm pretty sure he can't come out in the daylight though. Oh! <laughs> Yeah. Now back then you your own stuff. That's one less person to pay three cents to. I'm making money off this trip. Are you tying yourself to the wheel? Oh. How is he walking in the sunlight? It's black and white, I can't tell. Is it daylight? Is it sunlight? Are you gonna ram this motherfucking thing into a rock? What are you doing? Hey. I will say that there's either a man that looks just like a vampire or there's a 1922 makeup artist that did a fucking good job. Because it is weird. Yeah, he's, he's scary as hell. It's back when vampires were men. You didn't need them to sparkle to fucking sell it to an audience. Exactly. Smile, you son of a bitch! Um, I don't even know what was going on there. I thought he was gonna ram into a rock like fucking Jaws 4. The best shark movie ever made. Jaws you know, 4. Jaws 4. Jesus. We should make a sequel to this though. Nosferatu, 2, Electric Boogaloo. There would be. It'd be more exciting anyway. Especially if you're constipated. Especially if I'm constipated. Which I always am. I fucking hate fiber, like I hate potassium or whatever we said earlier. I just hate vitamins in general. I hate being healthy. Why does everybody wake up like they're fucking high or drunk? Cause they had to be to fucking stand being in this movie. Heyo! Come on, Why Vogue. Are you just being weird? Stop. I'm not weird. You're weird. I saw him. I saw him. He's coming. I must go meet him. They spelled coming wrong. Wrong movie. Oh. The worst porno in the world. Yes, it would. Oh, the organist is back. They just came back with intensity. I did tune it out. Shit. Well, the music drops out the most exciting places. So we should list uh, things that are more exciting in this movie. All right. All right. Um, being kicked. Watching paint dry. Uh, being robbed at gunpoint. Watching two old ladies race. Watching two old ladies walk. Ooh. Watching two old ladies shop for groceries. Putting a GoPro on a mailman. Watching earthworms fuck. Wait, what? <laughs> you know, they don't actually fuck because they're asexual, but sometimes I put two earthworms together and I'm like, crack, 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 crack. fuck each other. You have to talk yeah, that's true. Still all more exciting than this film. You know what's more exciting than watching this film? Being in the audience and watching other people watch us watch this movie. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. That's gonna be so great, y'all. If y'all in the future watching us watch this movie, it's worth it, I promise. Just for that shot alone. Hey baby. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Candle time is over. 
myself. Oh my god! I never thought he would get me. Black and white is the new black. Love this prison film. I'm not reading all that bullshit, I tell you right now. It's too much. <laughs> Just slightly. Crack that reel. Day. This motherfucker's wide awake during the day. The end. Please, yeah. No, there's more. They've not, got, they've not got to the earthworm orgy scene. <laughs> hey! Oh, his own coffin? Dude, they had one bat fly out. That was cool, and so unintentional. Because they can't have it. The effects doesn't exist to him turning into a bat. That'd be so cool. Them trying to pull off that special effect. These rats are the scariest in this movie. That's true. They are. Let's but let's film them for like thirty minutes. Oh, there we go. Excitement, it's building. I can feel it in the song. Oh, more fucking people walking. Shit. And walking and carrying. Good thing there's no one here in this town. Do you know what the scariest thing ever is? A fucking vampire carrying his own coffin. It is. Just die in your arms tonight. Just walking. Just like. Motherfucker's kicking up dust too. He's fucking struggling. I don't know where I am. <laughs> I'm in a strange land carrying my own coffin, but we're just gonna go with it. Oh, darling, I'm so tired. Heyo! Did somebody ask for a count or a lock? No, 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 no. <laughs> I love it. He ran. He got super excited. Now he has a boat. Cool. Do <laughs> you guys are like, all right, you're gonna need to carry this coffin for most of the movie. No, you can't put it there. No. Just we'll just push you over this lake on a boat, though. What? I love how most of the dudes are dressed like what I consider a pilgrim would be, a fireman, or Jack the Ripper. Yes. Still I did. That's how you know there's vampires. Well, he didn't want to live because he just like, literally he's like, hey, I'm just going to tie myself to the, the steering wheel of the ship. Because the people must know. We have to watch him being untied for real, dude. We get it. That's a whole happy. <laughs> the score's like, hell yes! Dude just died. Finally, get some of Finally. Only well, took 12 hours to get there.
God, if he just fell backwards and turned into like a Keystone Cop blooper situation, that'd be amazing. And drop him. If that was Jake Paul, he would have dropped him. Made it funny. No, they should remake this movie, but with the most ridiculous people ever. Like, if I was to cast this movie right now, Mina, or Nina, or whatever the fuck her name is, Ariana Grande. For sure, for sure. Yeah, not, this movie won't be good, but this is how you sell it to a, a mainstream audience of dummies. You need Ariana Grande to play Renfield. I would probably get... Who else is popular? Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. What's Renfield? The crazy dude in the hospital? Yes. <laughs> Timothy Chimala- Chalamet. Chalamet. That guy right there, Benedict Cumberbatch. Count Orlock. The prop or Dracula. I don't know why I call him Orlock. Sometimes you read Orlock, sometimes you read Dracula. Dracula played by. Hmm. Justin Bieber. Yep. <laughs> right? They look alike. Paul Feig directs the movie. Yeah. A lot of comedy, a lot of fart jokes, a lot of queef jokes. He's just in his office writing. And then Dracula queefs. Seth Rogen, right there, that guy. We're all just going to be hung over this dead body. Re- reading about, you know. It could be the plague. We should have killed those rats. But we didn't. Cane though, I can't go anywhere with my cane. My model ship on my fucking dining room table. Such an influencer thing to have. Just a random drummer boy outside. I tell you, these are all just people from Yugoslavia. That's a young Drew Barrymore. Yeah, well, you can play your fucking drums. We're trying to sleep. I got your attention. Hear ye, hear ye! The British are coming. We must kill all the firstborn children. What? It says on the paper we must do it. Citizens of the city to leave their home? Fuck these worms. No, it doesn't say that. You gotta turn down that loud hippity hop. (laughs) Hospitals until further notice. Okay. Yeah, fuck that. Ah! That person just got kidnapped. Ah! That person just got old people napped. I'm gonna be such a star, Mom. My scene was perfect. And I'll play myself out. I want his job. He's got the best job ever. I was just thinking that same thing. <laughs> just... <laughs> just coming into town. Announce the news. Hear ye, hear ye. If you live in America, you are all fucked. <laughs> I have a symbol on it as well, just for to lighten the mood a bit. A little hi-hat action. Also, that guy's got a good job. I'm just going to draw all these crosses on these doors.
Imagine that if that's how we get the news now. It could either be like, oh, you just won the lottery. Bob Saget's dead. Oh, too soon. Too soon. This movie killed Bob Saget. He watched it for you, that literally, in his hotel room. It's not come out on the news yet, but that's what happened. I mean, this movie makes me want to rip my eyeballs out. Yeah. Oh, God. That's what happened. I'll be honest with you, I still can't believe we're still watching this movie. Well, it's, I gotta see what happens at the end. I mean, like, come on now. We built it up so I'm much. I'm so invested. I'm so, so invested. So invested in this movie that makes me So sense. invested. It's been a roller coaster of a ride. Where's it gonna go? What's gonna happen? Who's gonna walk? Is this person gonna walk there? Is that person's neck okay? Will this person wake up and not, you know, be crazy? Will we see more rats? <laughs> okay, so this is new. That's definitely something I've never heard of before. So there's a spell of some sort, but she's got to give her blood to Nosferatu freely. Hmm. Okay. Whoa, 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 that says cock. Does that say cock? After the cock. Her side until after the cock is crowed. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the best part of this movie. You have me a cock. Yeah. Remember how we watched this movie for two hours just to see cock on the screen? Yeah. So good. Let me touch your cock. I have to give it to a friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. The book said so. Right there. There he is. I have to give my cock to him. Every night. He ran from me. He plays with his cock. Ah! <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. I must. Remember how you said you were going to bleep out certain words and we just said cock 25 times? Yeah. Yeah. That's a cuckold situation too right now. It's the first cuckold ever. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. No. You can't. Oh. But I wanted his cock. Damn it, I pulled my pants up to my elbows for no reason. Damn it! I would have given it my cock free. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nighttime now, because I can't see shit. That's definitely the first, the only nighttime scene. Up. Oh. Yeah, I did my job right. Turn that lantern on with fire, real fire. You went through all that work for it to go out in a second. It's like watching Fox News. Same situation. He'll know what to do. Gill again? Okay, now that was pretty dope. That curtain just put out that candle. <laughs> it's a Shelley Duvall acting school. So many people died in the rat plague. We get it. There we go. Well, they didn't have TikTok back then or entertainment. They just had to watch people carry dead people in the street. That's right. That's how they did it. Their lives so boring. Reading books. Not talking to each other out loud. Something's got to change. Oh, someone died. Let's watch their funeral. It's 
deja vu all over again. Double the cock! Double penetration. Where some would say cockadoodle do, I say cockadoodle don't. <laughs> What's going on here, y'all? We're playing the sneaking up music. Oh my god. That was that that old lady is scarier than anything I've seen in this fucking movie. Right? By far. <laughs> I thought he was gonna like run in, hit his head, and fall down. <laughs> the hell? Mom, I get to be in an extra in a film. A real film. Technically, everybody be an extra back then since so there's no speaking parts. That's true. Oh, crazy old Renfield's on the roof throwing rocks at me. Oh, shit. Hey, oh. He's dressed like Humpty Dumpty. Fucking throw him off that wall. The power of magic and Dracula. And if you eat flies, you can fly up for like 10 seconds. Uh, please fall. Oh shit. That's where CrossFit came from. Dracula, I will take your cock. Love, Nina. She's even bored with her. That's just a. She's not even acting. She's just so bored, making this movie. <laughs> you know who that dude looks like, man, from the never-ending story, the old man that gave that kid the luck dragon. That's exactly what that guy looks like. Just taller. Just taller. There's so many peekaboo scenes. Hello! I can't see him! We'll all stand the same the same path and not look around or They can't see me! <laughs> I am invisible! Woo! Is that Bigfoot? Yes, it's Bigfoot. <laughs> oh, it's a fucking scarecrow. We hate scarecrows. Let's keep trashing the scarecrow. What the fuck? How's that scarecrow moving? Ah, fucking wave it around. They're fucking beating up a scarecrow. What will they do to me? I put that scarecrow out of love, not hate. Whoa. What scarecrow? I just had a dream of Dracula watching scarecrows. Oh my it's left titty. It's just the neighbor peeking. Oh. No, it's just a heart attack. Can't, can't do it. The man had to sleep in a chair. And they all slept in their clothes. Well, she didn't want to show a little bit of ankle and wake up to him whacking his pud in the chair. So I think real quick, they decided, let's make Dracula a sexy character. Because that's what this needs. Because it's, it's sexy right now, but he's also very creepy looking. So they didn't want all the young ladies to get, like, Grandpa Boners. Go to him now. And we've got three other hours of the movie. What Come are we gonna do? Come to me now. I can't, but I must. Oh fuck this! She's freaking me out. I'm gonna go this way. He just leans his head back real quick. Oh, no. Nope. Oh yes! Stop motion door animation. Oh, but I want to stop after all. 
But you must! Why? <laughs> what the, what the fuck is a You know what's also missing? Like the fucking uh Yes. Uh or the Who fights Dracula? That's what we need. That's that's what it is. The professor? Well, they uh, said it there. Yeah. Did they? I can't read. He's the guy showing up the plane. Ah. Uh, with such a concise plot, how did I miss that? Oh. What they need is Hugh Jackman as Van Helsing. There we go, shadow time. Oh! Here he comes! Oh, he's a grower, not a shower. I got it. God damn, he turns on her left titty so hard. Oh, please tell me she falls out the window. Oh, no. Say, yeah, I like this. The tension in the scene. Going for that left titty. Oh, got it. Hmm, purple nurple. Wake up. She's gone. How'd you know? It didn't show me being awake. I just woke up. <laughs> Let me fix your clothes. Only character to wake up normal. Let me take your clothes off, Professor. Now that is a well shot scene right there. That is truly terrifying. That's good. Let's walk slowly. Hey, there's a cock everyone's talking about. Tricked me, that bitch. Oh, how's he back in prison? Did he decide to go back to jail after he jumped off the roof? He did. Or they caught him. I don't remember. You know what the best part of this movie is going to be? The end. And it is. Nice. Set him up. I knock him down. Hey oh. It's daytime again. So his motivation was. Invite Jonathan Harker. Get him to come to your castle. Find out he's got a pretty girlfriend. Look at her awesome neck. Move in next door, carry your own coffin, suck her blood for a little bit, and die. Mm. Oh no, they didn't. Did you write this film? How'd you know? Damn. The only vampire that just might kill himself. The the love of a woman who agrees to take your blood and cock willingly kills all vampires. That's true. She didn't seem very willing though. He didn't seem very willing? She didn't. That's not a she. Jonathan. <laughs> now I love you again. I'm not under the spell. I want her to become like a little fart dust cloud too. Oh no, she's dead. Is she? Yes. It was beauty that killed the beast. Thank you. 
God. Abruptly. All right, y'all. That was it. That was Nosferatu, a hundred year old film. And I want to be the first to say, thank fucking God it's over. It was not, it was not good, first of all. It was kind of boring. Um, it's no vampire in Brooklyn. Why does everyone hate that movie? I love it. But I love you more. So thank you so much for coming out to watch this film with us. That's Cloudy Sky Entertainment's first thing. Um, and man, I know just Dustin, did you, Dustin, Dustin. Guys, I think Dustin was so excited he fell asleep. So I'm gonna have to wake him up. But uh, we'll see you next time with our next feature project. You stay tuned, you beautiful animals. Hey, hey Dustin. Dustin, wake up, oh, wake Barbara, up. Barbara Streisand. What? Oh, this movie is so good. Oh, fuck, it's over. Uh, Hey y'all, um, whew, what a good movie. All right, uh, yeah, let's, uh, you know, thanks for coming by and watching this excellent movie. I can't lie to you guys anymore. Remember in the beginning when I said it's the best vampire movie of all time? This is the worst vampire movie of all time. This is dog shit. I don't even know why the fuck we did this. I mean, Jesus, I just... Noah was right. You're right, Noah. Twilight is a better movie than this piece of shit. I said it. We're out. Thanks for stopping in and watching the 100th anniversary of Nosferatu, the worst movie ever made. All right. Peace out, y'all. After you get what you want, you don't want it. If I gave you the moon, you grow tired of it too. You're like a baby. You want what you want when you want it. But after you are presented with what you want, you're discontented. You're always wishing and wanting.